In this video, we'll calculate the velocity of an object from its position versus time graph. And the key way to do this is notice the units on the y and x axis. If you calculate the slope of this graph, slope is always rise over run. So the rise has units of meters, and the run has units of seconds. So when you do that, you get meters per second, which is the velocity. So that's how you can know that the slope of a position versus time graph will give you velocity. So now it wants us to find the velocity of this object. The key thing to notice is that the slope is never changing. So it has a constant velocity. We just have to figure out what it is. So to find the slope of this line, pick any two points on the line. If we want, we can pick the first point and the last point and find the rise and the run. So over this time, it goes up a total of 800 meters from 200 to 1,000, and it moves it has a total amount of time of 200 seconds. So 800 meters divided by 200 seconds gives us a velocity of 4 meters per second. So that is the velocity of this object. Now we could have picked any two points on the line, but it's usually best to pick points you can be really confident in. For example, I could have picked these two points that are on these corners, and over this point it goes up a total of 200 meters, and then it goes across a total of 50 seconds. So if I do that, I get 200 meters over 50 seconds. I also get 4 meters per second. It doesn't matter which two points we pick along this line. If you calculate the slope, assuming you pick good points, you should always get the same velocity, 4 meters per second. But for example, we probably wouldn't pick a point like this where we're not really sure what point, what coordinates those are. You usually want to pick points like on a corner. So anyway, that's all you do to find the velocity uh, from a position versus time graph. Just find two points, find the slope, and make sure you pay attention to the units. If you're in meters and seconds, then your velocity will be in meters per second. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.